channel. Welcome to Cold Busted. Some of you out there asked me for a Mystic Force Morpher tutorial and I think it's about time to try it. So let's go. I used 1cm foam as a base and beveled the edges accordingly. And to make it even thicker I glued a layer of 2mm craft foam onto it. I cut out the same shape out of 1cm foam again and removed some material in this area to also bevel it a bit. I added details using 2mm craft foam as well. this shape out of 1cm craft foam as well and for the details I decided to use 1mm craft foam. 2mm craft foam would be too thick I believe and the morpher would stay open and we don't want that. This element is made out of a 1cm foam base as well and some foam on top to give it a convex shape. Now take the same shape and cut it out of 2mm craft foam and give it some detail using aluminum foil. This little piece is made out of 2mm craft foam as well. The ranger symbol is made out of a 1mm base layer plus a 2mm craft foam layer. Now remove some material on the back to make room for the holographic mirror element and this is how I did the mirror. I bought very cheap holographic ribbons and a gift bow that I cut into little pieces. Then I applied some glue to the template and added the pieces. To secure the little pieces in place I added a layer of transparent tape to it. I used 2mm craft foam for this element as well. Using two little rubber rings and a screw I created the eye inside the foam. Now flip it around and add a third rubber ring and a googly eye in the area above the ranger symbol. In order to open and close the morpher we need to build some sort of a hinge. And I used 1cm foam and a fiberglass rod for this.
using my X-Acto knife I carved out a little tunnel in which we can hide the crystal. And I really wanted to glue the crystal on a spring that it would pop out when you open the phone. But I did not have a big and strong enough spring to do that so I just glued it to some foam to put it into the tunnel just for now. But you can use the spring method if you have the right materials for it. For the crystal itself I took some thermoplastic and put it in hot water and this will soften the thermoplastic and you can shape it as you wish. Using transparent resin for the crystal would look awesome, I think, but I don't have the material right now, so thermoplastic is the way to go. Then I used my engraving tool to add more details to the foam, but be careful not to tear the material apart. Now we can prime and paint the Morpha. I mixed hobby glue and a good amount of black acrylic paint and applied two layers of this mixture to the Morpha. After the paint has dried, I applied a layer of gold spray paint. I used different metallic pens for the remaining details. I printed out the phone keypad and added this transparent element to it. This is where you can slide in the different ranger symbols. Now add the holographic mirror to your Morpha and your Morpha is complete. If you have any questions about this project or another project of mine, please leave a comment below this video or contact me on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so so much for watching. I highly appreciate it and thank you for challenging me with your ideas. I hope to see you in the next one. See you then. Bye bye. Take care.